Hey there, so I just uh, watched uh, Horror Collector's uh, contest entry video to uh, to Scott All Loves Gory Movies uh, contest. And uh, if you have not subscribed to either Horror Collector or Scott All Loves Gory Movies, uh, definitely go on over and do so. So I'm going to try and answer the questions as best I can. Uh, with superheroes, it's hard for me because <clears throat> I feel very close to those uh, to the characters and uh, it makes it hard for me to choose an actor. I was really debating the uh, the actor for Superman because... There's not a lot of actors I see nowadays that have that uh, look or that ability to play uh, <clears throat> play that role. Superman is a very <clears throat> sorry, he's a very old school looking character. He's had it's you know this is a, a manly character. It's not like Shia LaBeouf could not be a Superman, for instance. Uh, and it has to be somebody that's kind of a timeless quality, somebody that can look good in and out of the suit, and somebody that can uh, betray earnestness. And yet, uh, can give a darker side when needs be. Because, uh, although Superman is mostly seen as, you know, <clears throat> the big blue boy scout, the later portrayals of Superman have had him become, like, a more, uh, more rounded character. So, for that reason, I gotta say John Hamm from, uh, Mad Men, I think would make a great, uh, choice as, uh, Superman. And I think he may have actually been the running, or, you know, there's those rumors at one point. Now, uh, I think the second question was, was, which Superman film is my favorite of all the Superman movies? And that's actually really easy for me. That's Superman 2 with uh, Terrence Stamp and uh, Jack O'Halloran and, uh, and Sarah. And uh, I just really like that film. I think it captures the flavor of the comic book more than any other uh, of the Superman films that would come before or come after it. I'm a fan of like most of the Superman films, even the bad ones. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, 3 and 4 were bad movies. They were not good movies. But they were cheesy enough to be fun to watch. Man of Steel was the way Superman should be done in modern day times. So uh, I was good with that. The only one that I really didn't like a lot was uh, Superman Returns, which is such a shame because Brandon Routh was spot on uh, looking and acting like Superman. But uh, he may have been too spot on. It may have been too eerily similar. So, uh, John Hamm, Superman 2 is my choice for, uh, for a, uh, for my favorite Superman film. I think number three was, who would I get to play Supergirl? This may seem like a really off-the-wall choice, and not a, I don't think a lot of people are going to say this, but Supergirl is a character that portrays a lot of innocence, uh, yet has to have strength, and Supergirl has to, well, that's, that's a face fact. She has a fill of that Supergirl costume quite well. And uh, there's one actress that kind of stood out in my mind. And if you watch Big Bang Theory, maybe you know what I'm talking about. And her name is, uh, the actress's name is Melissa Roche. And uh, she plays the uh, the wife, well, first the girlfriend, and then the wife of Howard on Big Bang Theory. She's uh, got the uh, innocent type of aspect to her. Yet you can tell that she can kick ass and she's gorgeous. <coughs> And, you know, if she's not doing it, then then my runner-up is, is still going to be Laura Vandervert because I loved her in Smallville as Supergirl. I thought she did a great job. And uh, that's my choice. Uh, next up, what superhero would I like to be? I was going to say Superman because, uh, idealistically, my ideals run along the same as uh, Superman. I grew up with this stuff, and uh, I really did believe in the, you know, truth, justice. I'm not in the Canadian way, I guess. But, uh, a character that would actually suit or fit me personally would probably be, uh, the one that I related to much when I was, most when I was a kid. And that was Spider-Man. <clears throat> Spider-Man was just more of a realistic character. He's not gonna, you know, he's not a living forever character. His powers are, you know, they're good and they're bad. Uh, it's not gonna make him uh, rich and famous, but he knows how to do the right thing and he doesn't mind doing it. For that reason, uh, Spider-Man. I gotta say, Horror Collector's choice of uh, The Punisher was really close to what my original choice was going to be, which was a DC character by the name of Vigilante. Uh, <clears throat> because, yeah, I gotta agree with him. Some people just had me taken out. Like, uh, I don't know most of the people from Fox News and the Tea Party. 
But uh, those are just my thoughts, aside from like the real crazy ass people. Because uh, you know, I know that in uh, in Nova Scotia, I think it was Nova Scotia, a uh, a girl, a, te a teenage girl, was a uh, was raped there, and uh, there were actually people picketing to uh, free the uh, free the rapists. And uh, yeah, I have no problem with taking with people like that. That would n not not even blinking. <clears throat> so horror collector, good good answer. Really good answer. Oh God, that made me think of another character. But no, I'll stick with ones again. <clears throat> and a female character for you, a female superhero for you. I have a lot of thought on this one, and I went back and forth on like a half dozen different characters, but I wanted somebody that. You seem to be kind of into the, uh, you, li you like your wrestling stuff, you uh, don't mind saying what you want to say, and uh, in doing that, I chose a character that uh, says very little, actually, <clears throat> but does a lot, and the character was Ronan from uh, the Avengers, the female Ronan, of course, who uh, also uh, was Echo. Play it. Well, what character's name was? Okay, I'm looking okay, look at here. Maya Lopez, and she was like, actually, she does have. Actually, has a disability. She was one of the few deaf characters in in super, <clears throat> in the superhero world, which uh, may seem like a weird choice. And like, here's this character for you. <laughs> I'm gonna make you deaf. <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know. I just like the way that she could handle herself. She was extremely kick-ass and she didn't you know no matter what she pretty much could overcome it <clears throat> and uh and she knew what uh she knew what she wanted to do so i i wanted to pick that character so sorry i made you deaf but it's a character that i think would that that would not even be a factor and uh i think you have that strength that it wouldn't be a factor for you <clears throat> So that's my contest entry. I hope you like it. I hope I answered all the questions there. And uh, thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed to Scott Olive's Gory Movies channel, definitely do so. Uh, Horror Collector, you got to subscribe to his channel as well. This is my contest entry, and I tried to go uh, a little bit under what I usually go because I tend to ramble on. And thanks for watching because for me right now, the cup is empty and it's time for tea.